Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hello and welcome to Rahman Digital Production. This is Physics 5054 of GCE. And this is lecture number 26. As we have discussed the basic concept of uh, moments or torques in the previous lecture. So, if you haven't seen that lecture, please give a visit to that uh, video previous. Then we are coming towards the next topic and that is the uh, principles are uh, the principle of moments. To explain and define principle of moments, there is an experiment we have to perform and then we will be able to create an understanding of this topic. Ladies and gentlemen, for this purpose, we are having a uniform ruler and then we are having two weights which is one is W1 and whose mass is 50 gram. The second weight is W2 and its mass is 100 gram. There is a ruler which is balanced on knife edge. Uh, and this is that knife edge on which this uniform ruler is what it is balanced. So, there are two distances, one is on the left side, we are calling this as D1 and the second one we are calling it as D2. Now, D1 and D2 can be adjusted to balance this ruler. If we are balancing this ruler, so it means the two moments what there is clockwise moment due to w2 and there is anti-clockwise moment when there is w1 here it will be anti because that weight will uh, apply a force on this ruler in the downward direction and this one as well because it is balanced. If it is not balanced, then one will move upward and the second one will move downward. In that case, it will not be in balanced form. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we are performing this experiment to explain the principle of moments. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, the experiment is showing that adjust these Ds, not this. This is fixed. This is 50 gram and this is 100 gram. So, uh, for that purpose, if we want to perform, there is a table given to us in which we have to perform five sets of the uh, different types of data. For first, if we are keeping this W which is fixed and that is 50 gram, uh, this is 50 Newton will be on this. So, we are taking D1 is 5 centimeter and then we, because this is given as 100 
this is given as the mass is given as 100 gram in this case let me write it in advance for you people so that you understand this is 100 gram and this is the 50 gram first we want this uh, scale to be in balanced neither it is moving towards upward nor it is moving towards downward so it is in balanced condition so this d2 is taken as 2.25 when we multiply this w d1 uh, multiplied by d1 then we get 50 multiplied by 5 and that will be 250 newton meter it is on this side because there is a larger distance now if we are adjusting this d2 it will be 2.25 i am not writing it from my own side that is the data i took from the experiment while i was adjusting these lengths and it becomes uh, uh, balanced so here 2.25 when multiplied with 100 so it will also yield 250 newton meter ladies and gentlemen this 250 newton meter is equal to this 250 newton meter on the other side so it means that the moments the torque the uh, um, force of moment on both sides are equal so it means that they are in balance similarly if we are taking the second set of data so we adjust this 50 gram mass on 4 centimeter a little bit closer toward this edge knife edge so we are doing what 4 centimeter the mass is fixed when we multiply this 50 newton with 4 centimeter then it will give you 200 newton meter similarly we are at the same time simultaneously adjusting this weight as well so that the uh, scale will be balanced and that is at 2 centimeter I found that it is on 2 centimeter first it was on 2.25 a bit away from the knife edge now we are bringing it a bit closer so that will be balanced now when we multiply this 2 centimeter with 100 it will also yield 200 so this value will be uh, available for you people to observe uh, now we decrease this and at 3 centimeter we kept the d1 so d2 will be at 1.5 centimeter again we have to uh, decrease the uh, width of this d2 as well when we multiply these one and these two so we will get 150 and 150 newton similarly for the next observation we have to take one centimeter and here it is 2 centimeter when 2 centimeter is multiplied with 50 so it will yield 100 and when 1 centimeter is multiplied with uh, 100 so it will yield 10 uh, sorry 100 newton meter similarly for the last you can see as well that W1 multiplied by D1 and W2 multiplied by D2 are equal. 
so ladies and gentlemen what we are observing from this and what will be the conclusion we will discuss that in a moment up from the observation we get that w1 multiplied by w sorry d1 is equal to w2 multiplied by d2 this is called w1 and d1 anti clockwise anti clock moment i am writing anti clockwise moments and this w2 you can see that this is given us clockwise moments this is anti clockwise moment and that is clockwise moment so the observe from the observation we are getting the conclusion our observation is that both w1 and d1 for different distances perpendicular distances from the pivot point which is this knife uh, knife edge are equal on both side when we are varying these distances so they are giving us the same values so let me tell you one thing more before the final conclusion of this uh, observation that you can perform you can keep the distances the same you have to perform it i am leaving on it you can perform this at your home a knife edge you have to balance a scale which is uniform take a wood balance not the steel balance steel balance is also doing the work but that is a bit difficult too so you can put the knife edge and you can press it so it is now keep these distances the same don't vary in this particular case we varied the different distances but in this case you have to do what you have to keep the distances constant just like we kept the weights constant this is 50 and this is weight is not varied this is 50 and this is 100 100 all of them in this case you have to keep all these distances the same for example this is 5 cm so this should also be 5 cm now this is 5 cm so this should also be 5 cm you have to vary the weights and when it is balanced on the weight then you have to take your observation in that case you will also observe that clockwise moment will always be equal to anti clockwise moment about a fixed point which is called pivot and the scale or the balance will be in equilibrium so for equilibrium condition the principle of moment is saying that uh, the principle of moment for equilibrium the clockwise moment must be equal about a fixed point which is in this case is knife edge knife edge 
to the anti clockwise anti clockwise moments and this is called the principle of moments the principle of moment is saying that both sides will be equal if this w1 multiplied by d1 is equal to w d2 multiplied by d2 so the principle of moment mathematically can be written in this particular format this is w1 multiplied by d1 which is anti clockwise moments equal and w2 multiplied by d2 which is clockwise you can see it w2 and d2 is clockwise moment uh, now we have defined and understood the concept of the principle of moments there is a challenge uh, there is a work example 5.2 is given on the page number 69 and it is the practical usage of this uh, principle of moments they given we did this through the experiment and the same thing is given this is that knife edge which is the balance point the middle point and this d1 here we generally name them d1 but here they given us d1 is equal to 200 meter similarly they give given us d2 is equal to 20 uh, they given us 20 centimeter and that is 25 centimeter we are considering that let weight of mass x b w so they given us w and they give us w2 this is w1 let us consider it to be w1 for hour you can take w as well and that we have to find and that is w2 and that is given as 4 newton ladies and gentlemen i given you the second part of this experiment for home and that is the practical usage of that experiment that what should be the weight of this so that this bell this scale will be in equilibrium uh, they given us 4 newton weight here they given us 25 centimeter here they given us 20 centimeter here we have to find this so the solution is like this uh, is according to principle of moments anti clockwise moment are equal to clockwise moments and we are writing it as w1 multiplied by d1 and w2 multiplied by d2 we have to find w1 so w2 multiplied by d2 whole divide by 
d1 now w1 will be equal to w2 for multiplied by d2 25 divide by uh, 20 which is d1 and that will be in newton uh, here also you have to write in newton so w1 is equal to 100 divide by 20 newton to 1 there and to 5 there so it means 5 newton should be the weight for this situation to be in equilibrium so uh, this was the whole story about the work example in this we cleared the concept of principle of moments and here we did the practical usage now there is a challenge given to you and exactly this is the challenge and that is also at the bottom of page number 69 i roughly made this diagram my drawing is not that much good but for your understanding i made it uh, it is given on the book as well the solution is not given we have to find the solution uh, there is david whose weight is 400 newton is setting on a seesaw from the pivot point at 2 meter similarly on the other side his father is setting a 2 meter distance as well and the father weight is 700 newton because the balance is not there in the seesaw the weight is more here than the son so the mother of David came to sit on his side whose weight is given to you as 600 Newton to balance these two sides at the earlier part the father weight is more than the David so this seesaw was not in equilibrium when the mother saw it that uh, David went up, she came in the middle and sat somewhere here. We don't know. We have to find that if her weight is 600 Newton, then where she should sit so that this seesaw is balanced. That is the whole story. Now let us solve it. First we are taking the data. We are taking this. David is uh, 400 multiplied by 2. This is anti-clockwise rotation plus the moments for David's mother and that is D because we have to find D and that is 600 Newton must be equal to 2 meter into 700 Newton. That is the right side. Ladies and gentlemen, this is anti-clockwise moment and this is clockwise mo uh, moments according to the according to the principle of 
moments uh if we simplify this one so it will be 800 plus 600 d and that is the right side 1400 uh this is 600 d and 1400 minus 800 1400 minus 800 so we will get 600 d is equal to 600 and now we are going to divide both sides by 600 so 600 d divide by 600 is equal to 600 divide by 600 so that will be cancel and d is equal to 1 meter what does it mean it means that the david's mother should set at 1 meter distance if it is greater than 1 meter or less than 1 meter then this sisa will not be in equilibrium position if she is shifting towards the left then it means that the father will go up and they will go down in this case the sisa will not be in equilibrium but if she is shifting her weight a bit towards the pivot point then it means that david will go up and the father will go down you can confirm that from calculation so d we found and that is 1 meter uh <clears throat> if david's mother is setting at 1 meter then uh the asisa uh, will be in balance position okay that's it ladies and gentlemen for today i am not going to start the next topic which is very very important topic if you are missing this series then you won't be able to understand the next topic is center of gravity and stability the center of gravity is also very important topic hopefully you have cleared your concept on the principle of moment tomorrow we will clear more concept about the topic so please keep in touch for that if you haven't subscribed my channel subscribe it so that when i upload the video so you will be the first person to be notified thank you very much for your time have a nice time allah hafiz